I don't have to worry about this for quite some time. But this is what I do to treat around my beehives for small hive beetles. Small hive beetles are a pest that came, I'm not sure where I think, Africa. That they came over on melons. And once they were here, they got established and spread. In the deep south, it's a real problem. That's why I'm putting this video up now. It's because there are people in the south already starting to complain or worry about small hive beetles. It's just a thing for them, real bad. For me, not so much. But if I don't take care of it, I could lose hives to it. I have lost hives to it because I was just being a bad beekeeper. I left a hive out that died and the hive beetles got into it and bred a little and then moved to the next one and my whole the, all the hives in my backyard were just one was like you'd pull a frame out of the and it would be covered with black all beetles it was horrible that bad and I imagine some of the southern guys have seen something like that too it's gross and you just uh sickening and you're like what do you do what do you do put a traps in there's all kinds of weird things to do and i tried all sorts of methods and found what really works the best because i like to experiment around experiment around and try different things i heard about this and i saw it in the bee catalogs they sell some sort of product like this that's specifically labeled for use around beehives so I'm going to share how I do it and, and when. Here in central Illinois, the, you don't really have to worry about small hive beetles till June or July. Maybe a little in uh, May. If you see them in a hive or see just a few in a hive or you see where your bees have a couple uh, caged up in the top or something. That's the signal to start treating because you've got it, it. What happens is one pair of them hive beetles will mate and make a lot of eggs. The eggs will hatch out of these little worms, larvae, and the larvae travels down through the hive, boring through the nest and the honey, and it just destroys the hive. It's, it's feeding on it too. And the, the hive beetle lar uh, larvae leaves a trail of slime behind it that sours and ferments and makes the hive rancid and unfit for human consumption kind of thing. It's, it's nasty. So, you, do, you know, it, you know you might, it might happen one cycle. Because, you know, they, they laid some eggs, some hatched, and some got down, and they didn't destroy the hive on the first pass, you see. I really don't know how many days it takes, but the larvae has to pupate in the ground. I don't know. I don't know. It might be a week. It might be a month. It might be two days. I just don't know. But if you have bad case of hive beetles, they didn't all just fly to your hive. A couple did, they bred, and then when the pupating larvae came out and hatched, then those beetles went into your hive and repeated the process. So you could end up going from two mated pairs to like 50 or 100 mated pairs and your hive is overwhelmed. It's how it works. Well, what I'll do is I'll take the lids off these they just have a gallon of water this has a little measuring tube device thing you squeeze on it and it puts the stuff up here you put an ounce it's, it's measured right there a mark put an ounce in each jug so this will do a lot of hives see does it say how many gallons it'll make 
one quart is 32 ounces, so it'll make 32 gallons. I could treat 16 hives with this, 16 hives. So you take your jug out and do this at night. You carefully pour out the jug around the base of the hive and saturate the ground all around and under, especially in front of the hive because that's where the small harbor larvae, larvae come out. So you're treating the ground to where once some larvae try to burrow down into it, they're killed. So you've interrupted their breeding cycle. Once you've done that, it, you, you got a chance. And I'll tell you, since I started doing this, I have not lost a hive to hive beetles. I haven't had an infestation problem or anything. You just got to go through the motion of going around and dumping a couple gallons of this around the, the hives. Two gallons per hive. <coughs> Excuse me. But that will uh, really help with your hive beetles, at least in my part of the world. Gordon's. I got it at Rural King. It's a farm store, like Tractor Supply. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.